Today we're opening an insane $10,000 Yu-Gi-Oh collection. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have a little bit of a weird angle because we are doing a binder. You guys know how the binders work. I needed to have the top down camera so we could actually see everything. So it's going to be a little bit different, but I hope you guys enjoy this awesome video. First we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these four cards. These are from the Prismatic God Box. Here's our ultimate rare, a couple of ultra secret parallel, whatever those things are called. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card or product from the video. First, we're going to start off with the sealed booster box. We have the Lost Millennium first edition booster box. This is a retail box so this does not contain ultimate rares that are hobby they are retail so it's not as desired but it's still a really cool box to have so this is pretty awesome to get in the collection then we have some singles before we get to the binder most of the goods are in the binder but there's some really great stuff in here as well so we're gonna start off with the card savered stuff we have ip mascarena yeah i know that's that's a pretty good one so ip mascarena starlight so now we have three of these now <laughs> i we ended up with three because we pulled two out of the, the box somehow you guys if you missed that video go check it out it was crazy then we have a Gaia, the Magical Knight of Dragons. That's another Starlight. Another guy. I don't have one of these, so this is actually really cool. DD Crow. You guys remember the legend DD Crow? We actually pulled one, and it was insane. It was a long time ago, over a year ago. Rise of the Duelist, amazing case. Wing Dragon of Raw. We've got a Ghost Trap. I think someone was hitting me up about one of these. I already have my own, so maybe this would be for sale. Shooting Star Dragon, Ghost Trap. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Pot of Extravagance. Is this the Collector Rare? I can't really tell. Yeah, this is the Toon Chaos Collector Rare. Nice. Another one. And then a Stardust Dragon Toon Chaos Collector Rare. Wow. Okay. Good start. I hope you guys have your socks on because this is an amazing collection. But that's a great start. We've got Chaos Creator. We've got Black Buster Soldier. Envoy of the Beginning. First Edition Invasion of Chaos. We've got Dark Magician of Chaos. First Edition. We've got these. Oh, I love these blue eyes. Uh, they're not very expensive. Like $15, but I still love them. Blue Eyes White Dragon from Dusa. 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 We never... Did we pull one of these when we opened Dusa? I don't think we did. We have yet to pull one. We've got the Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon. The Secret Rare, which I really enjoyed. The Dark Magician Girl, also cool. The SRL Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. You love to see that. Blue Eyes White Dragon from LOB. Very, very cool. Oh, wait. Is there another one? Oh, wait, this is stuck. There's another one, but there's a card behind this. These card savers. Oh, another Blue Eyes. Three. It's a playset. Kaiba. Kaiba has all three Blue Eyes, except they're the, you know, LLB art, so not Kaibas, but Dark Magician, Dark Magician of Chaos. There's a Deuce of Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl Lost Art, Exodia the Forbidden One, Exodia Necros, and Two Chaos. A lot of reprint hollows, but the really good ones. Yeah, not too bad of a start there. <laughs> Now we get into the binder. Here's the rest of the collection. Inside this binder, prepare to be amazed. I was super excited when this guy hit me up. He's like, hey, do you want to buy this collection? I was like, I want so many of these cards. It's going to be an issue because I'm going to keep a lot of them. I'm not going to sell them. I'm going to take a huge L, you know, an L in terms of like the money, but it's going to be like worth it because wow, look at these cards. Three Ultimate Rare Sukiyomi, three Turbo Pack Chaos Sorcerer. So Goat Format people, get excited. Gatling Dragon is also using Goat Format Ultimate Rare. We've got the Dark Magician Girl right there. I think that is a MFC Unlimited, I believe yes check this out mfc unlimited let's check it out let's see the condition he told me some of the conditions but we're still gonna be interested in looking so this one is let's see the condition on it. it doesn't look perfect i think there might be something going on with it backs a little bit uh scuffed up you know it's pretty usual for dark magician girl but still a really really nice card to start off then we have the Chaos Ember Dragon First Edition. This completes the trio. So we have First Edition playset, or not playset, but all three from Invasion of Chaos, all the big guys. So that's really cool. Then we turn the page to more Ultimate Rares. We have the Swords of Concealing Light from Flaming Eternity playset. We have Scapegoat Ultimate Rare playset. MST Ultimate Rare playset. Really, really cool. Oh, look, this is a uh, Lightning Vortex, but it's uh, foreign. Let's see what's, uh, what is the uh, language here? This is German, I believe. D-E. I've messed this up so many times, but I'm pretty sure it's German. Check that card out. That looks amazing. That would be cool to throw into a go deck yeah that's really nice so the back is uh does have some scuffing on it but that is okay very very nice card book of moons we got pot of greed deck devastation we got three thunder king ryo the ultimate rare versions very cool almost everything wait everything on here except book of moon is ultra rares i think these are ultra no this one's an ultra rare and this one's not okay so one card on the entire page then we go to the chaos dragon levianeers amazing three effect veilers so these are foreign effect veilers which is really still really cool allure of darkness ultimate rares that's really cool i think these are unlimited invocation playset we've got the solemn strike what's that from oh ots4 one of the hardest packs i had to find when opening every pack in Yu-Gi-Oh. that was insane so three of those is, is nuts we got three pot of desire ultimate rares then we go to the uh infernoid tier what is that from i don't even know i can't really tell because of this angle this is from core oh it's from clash of rebellion okay i didn't know that that the, it's actually hard to pull out of those that series they made ultimate rares like one in three boxes or something it was really difficult to pull them ultimate rare dd crow that's first edition legendary six samurai Sheen 
is very, very cool. We never pull that out of Storm of Ragnarok. We open that all the time. Not the ultimate, at least. Then we have the two uh, Crystal Beast Tobias Tiger, Leviar the Sea Dragon, a couple of Mobius, Guy Soul the Combustible Collective, two Terraforming, Emergency Teleport's a big card right now and pretty popular, DD Survivor, Sasuke, and Link Spider. So just a ton of ultimate rares. And who doesn't love ultimate rares? I know most of you guys' favorite rarity is ultimate, so you guys should enjoy this. There are so many good cards in here. Like, it's hard. It's even hard. I Like, you guys can't even see, like, most of these cards because of the glare, because of the ghost rare, but you know it's a ghost rare, so we'll get to those. Ah, the number, the number L1, no, number 11. Okay, that said L1. Big eye, yeah. Ah, oh, big eye. I, I just noticed that I totally missed that in um, one of the auction series episodes. People let me know in the comments, and I was just like, oh, wow, I'm an idiot. That's just another reminder. Silent Honor Arc School, Dark Rebellion. This is a kind of a dirty binder, so we're going to have to get all these out of here. Um, but, you know, that just shows as well used, well appreciated. We got a Castell, Delta Rose, uh, Satellar Knight, Serial Spell, Triblaze, a Solemn Warning. That's a really nice card to have. Then let's get into these Ghost Rares. Up top, we have three Rainbow Neos. Let's see if I can show you guys. Yeah, three Rainbow Neos. I'll get I'll get kind of an angle for this one so you guys can see some of the, the foiling. And then, yeah, there's the middle one. Yeah, it's kind of how they, you kind of riffle it like the wave. He says, <laughs> yeah, I'm making the wave. It was like at a you know, football game or something. Stardust Dragon. I think this one was not in great condition, he said. Let's check it out. I've never owned a Rainbow Neo. So this, all right, Ghost Rare at least. So this is pretty exciting. Stardust, I think, is not in the best shape. Yeah, but wow. It doesn't matter what shape it is. Look at this card. Doesn't matter what the shape is. I mean, it's very beat up, but it's still, you can find an angle that it looks un unbelievable. All right, Black Rose Dragon. Let's see, Black Rose. Wow, that one looks good. It has a crease as well, unfortunately. Wait, let's see if we can get it. Yeah, there it is. It's only wanting to show the nice part, which is the best part about these cards. I can't, even, there it is. There, right there, finally. Oh my goodness, that was actually a lot harder than it looked. The back's pretty pretty beat up. So yeah, I, I knew those were not in the best condition, but still really cool to see a page of Ghost Rares. You'll love to see it. Neo Galaxy Ice Photon, Utopia Ray. I hate this card in Duel Links. It just beats you sometimes. <laughs> you know, you're under 100 and they just win. Then we have another, like almost full page of, of Ghost Rares. So we got the Excalibur Ghost Rare really cool delta rose actually cool that excalibur got a ghost here i think it's a nice card felgrand one of my favorite ones we did get this from simo so i do have this one bujan amaterasu i think we've pulled this guy a couple of times actually so that's fun clear wing synchro yeah the cross souls one not the new crystal clear wing but the uh, regular clear wing it's hard to show these really hard to show these mobius the mega monarch very cool then madolka and scarlight one of our favorites we pulled this many a time then we have an unlimited yada we've got a play set of cyframe gears in these are the collector rare i believe which are pretty expensive at this point. Access code. We finally got a secret rare access code, guys. Let, let, we got to check this out. Just because it took us this long to finally get one. Um, let's see how it's looking. So it's, it's pretty new card at this point. So secret rare. It's hard to see because the phone is kind of casting a shadow. So I think this is the best angle. Yeah, pretty nice. I mean, it looks pretty good for... I mean, it's a new card. It's a couple years old. One and a half years or whatever. We got Diffusion Wave, Cyframe Lord Lambda. We got... Electromites, cool, and a Boral Sword. Those are nice Link monsters. Then we've got a page of Thunder Dragon Colossus. So these are ultimates, these are secrets, and these look like ultra rares. So there's three, a playset of each rarity, which is really cool. We've got the Ecclesias, we've got the Dogmaticas. Are these from, uh, these are from ROTD. So these are the original print. They are the reprints from the Megaton. So this is like full of high rarity Dogmatica package there, which is really cool. The Dear Servant, just to throw that in. we got the Titanic Lads as well, the Metal Morph. Uh, Triple Tactics Talon, is that from ROTD? No, that is from the... That's from the 10. Then we've got Ubel's. Oh, Ubel, uh, Secret Rare. We got a couple Ultimate Rares. These are from Phantom Darkness. Then we have the Super Rares from Phantom Darkness. Dante, Traveler of the Burning Abyss. Then we've got ROTD Droplets. Those are really cool. Original Secret Rares. Then we've got the Tactics Talents. Those are also from ROTD. Imperms, a playset of Secret Rares from Flames of Destruction. We've got the Yujo, the Judgment, and the Unity. Sage with Eyes of Blue. Eyes of Blue. Eyes of Blue. I love that one. And then the Gizmek Oroki. Cool. Yeah, there's still more, guys. There's still more. Evenly matched. I think that's the original uh, Circuit Break Secret Rare as well. Danger Nessies. We've got Fallen of Albaz. Dangers down here. We've got a couple of Ash Blossoms. I think these are Super Rares. Yeah, we've got the... Uh... Oh, is this a foreign uh, Black Cluster Soldier up here? So this guy's still hard to find. He's ridiculously uh, high rarity at this point. Crusade Avermax, a couple of Ghost Bells, Crimson Blader, and Salamangre Great All Mirage. Is that a Secret Rare? No, oh, cool. It's not, um, you know, I think I usually have Ultras from like Duov or something. So this is pretty cool to have. We've got a couple Lancias. 
We got more Mascarenas if you needed those. And Apollosa. I have not seen an Apollosa in a while. This is pretty cool. So we've got the Secret Rare, I think. No, this is it. Never mind. This is the uh, 2020 Megaton. So not as crazy, but still cool. Utopia Doubles. We got Called by the Grave. Uh, a Trihorn Super Rare, guys. That's kind of funny and random. Utopia Kaiser. Uh, a couple other things. We got the Slide for the Sky Dragon from the tin. That is nice. Um, so Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragons. Those are crazy. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Secret Rare Cosmic Cyclones. This is super nice to have as well. Those look cool. Full Exodia sets. I think these are from what? Like Legendary Decks or something? Yeah, Legendary Deck sets. Okay. Slide for the Sky Dragon Obelisk and Ring Dragon Raw on the bottom here. We got a couple of extra God cards. Then we've got another Exodia set, another God card, cool. Another set of those God cards. Dekoichi Super Rares, I think that's from Speed Duel, right? Yeah, Speed Duel. We've got Dual Terminal Blade Knights. Those are awesome. A couple of Genzos. Turbo Pack Sangat, and that's actually one of the high rarities, so that'd be good for GOAT format as well. Maybe I'll put that in my deck because I think I'm running like a Metal Raiders one or something. Then we got some just nice cards that are in like common that are for like old school formats like Phoenix Wing Wind Blast and Marine Control. Skill Drain's a nice card, of course. Uh, Super Rare Mask of Restrict. Uh, Tour Guide, that's cool from Medusa. Alistair the Invoker Secret Rares. I actually needed these magical meltdown secret rares. I think I only had two of those. Droll and lock ultra rares are actually, I mean, they're not too easy to come around, so that's good. Secret rare super polys, zombie world. We got a couple of cyber dragons and anti spell fragrance. This is just like an awesome binder overall. Just everything's really cool. We got the cyber in dragon limited. Ed what is this from? Oh, this is the Mattel version. Is this the Mattel version? This is the Mattel version. Oh, this is cool. I mean, it's in horrible condition like a lot of these are. But that is still really nice to have the Mattel figure, Cyber and Dragon. You love to see that card. Uh, at least it's not the Cyber Dragon, so we don't have to, you know, go through all that crap again. But <laughs> Cyber and Dragon, that's really cool. Vision Hero Vions. We've got Destiny Hero Maliciouses, also really good for those Destiny Hero decks. Then we got some El Shadal cards, El Shadal Fusion. We've got Shadal Fusion. We've got Shekinaga. We've got Winda. Very cool cards. Play set of Raigeki. Play set of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Play set of, uh, well, actually, these are different. Perfection, uh, Ultimateness, and Perfection. Couple more pages. We're not even done yet. This is awesome. Ooh, we have keys on for the six samurai decks. There's five of them. This card's actually pretty expensive in the super rare from Storm of Ragnarok, so I know it's a pretty good one. Shien's Dojo. I, I can't say, you know, spoilers, but I do maybe, you know, use these at some point. Uh, Cyber Dragon Core, very cool. We've got Dimension, Dimensional Fissure, two different rarities, Advanced Art, couple of Link Karibos. Nice, very nice. Uh, Dark Spirit of Malice. I don't know much about the Dark Spirit cards, but we have a lot of Dark Spirit cards over here. Utopia Double. Ebon High is very cool. A Manju Super Rare. That's nice. I wish I hadn't bought mine already because that's a nice one. Oh, Dragoobleon. One of my friends was looking for this, so now I can let him know I do have a second one, which is really cool. Prank Kids Rip Roaring Roaster. And final page, we have more Solemn Strikes. We have a number 38, which is a very good card. Uh, Nether Soul is pretty good as well. Witch's Strike and Dandelion. So absolutely insane collection, guys. Okay, I won't say most of it, but a lot of it will be for sale. A lot of it I'm going to be putting into my personal, you know, decks, collection, stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, you can hit me up. I'll let you know if it's for sale or not. It may or may not be because I'm super excited about owning a lot of these cards. And uh, that's it for this one guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe for more epic content shout out to tcg trusted cards tone Fo show tomato juice noah j stanley mike nance movie gecko duelist kingdom cards and spanky with thank you guys for supporting the channel and i'll see you guys next time peace